U.S. will ban certain iPhones from entering the country after a Qualcomm ruling. Qualcomm and Apple continue tearing into each other in a long-running legal battle over patents and royalties that have been fought in courts and administrative bodies around the world. Now, this U.S. trade judge found Apple guilty of infringing on two Qualcomm patents related to power management and data download speeds. The models that will not be sold in the U.S. are older model iPhones. Well, Lyft looks like its IPO set for this Friday is going to be a success. The shares are pricing above the target. That means the company would be worth $23 billion when it goes public Friday on the Nasdaq. Well, Twitter users getting locked out of their accounts due to a viral prank. The prank promises users that changing the birth year on their account to 2007 will reveal a special, more colorful version of Twitter. Instead, the change flags a user as under 13 and automatically locks their account. Well, Wake Med Hospital in North Carolina will become the first medical system in the country to transport lab samples via drone. It's all thanks to a partnership with UPS, a drone company, and an aviator turned surgeon. The system will first begin with one route between Wake Med's main hospital and its central pathology lab, which is less than a mile away. The first flight path expected to be fully operational within a few weeks. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your tech report.